Hello, my name is Matthew Forbes from the Music Workshop Company. I'm going to take you through how to tune some instruments, how to play them basically, and also how to read the notated music for them. So the bass clef is the clef we use for notating the lower notes. I'm going to show you on the piano and the cello, which is a, uh, an instrument that uses almost solely the bass clef. The bass clef notes on the piano are the ones uh, generally in the left hand. Middle C is the note, a, an extra line or a ledger line above the top note of uh, the top line of the five in the stave. That's middle C there. And we come down stepwise between line and space and line and space. So from C, come down a space to B, to the line A, to the space G, and so on, alphabetically F. E, D, C, and so on. The note names in the bass clef, the lines going from bottom to top, the lower line is G, the next is B, the next is D, the next is F, and the top line is A. Good boys deserve food always is a good way of remembering it. The spaces, the notes between the lines, a, C, E and G are the four spaces of the five line stave and all cows eat grass is the easiest way to remember that. The, the sillier the better. The sharps with the hatched crisscross are the notes as it were between each of the, uh, the letter named notes. So the sharps go a uh, semitone above so an F goes to an F sharp, upper semitone, or a G going to a G sharp. On the cello, just to let you hear the sound of those same notes. Obviously we have no black and white keys, but the same rules apply where the names go down alphabetically. Middle C, if you like, the pitch of middle C on the cello is here. So C, B, A, G, F, E, D, and C. The lowest note on the cello being the C below that, which is written two ledger lines below the bottom of the stave. And with the sharps, happening between the notes, so semitones apart, C, C sharp, to D, to D sharp, to E, and so on. Uh, do remember that in musical notation, E to F and B to C are a semitone apart, so we don't need an extra sharp, an extra black note between the two, and that is the bass clef. 